Hello, welcome, welcome back. I haven't done a pour painting or video in a while, so I am attempting to do one today. I'm going to do a couple ring pours on nine by 12 canvases. I have a couple made up here. These are kind of gonna be some practice um, tests or color combinations. I have uh, been asked to do two more paintings for a friend of mine who I gave um, one of my older paintings. It's a hexagon with uh, metallic paint, kind of I did a ring pour and a U-shape. There's a picture of that and I think there's a video. I will link to that if you want to see how I made that. So that used, I think, the all metallics and maybe titanium white. Um, so today I have most of those same colors and a couple additional ones that my friend asked based on the color scheme in her house. So I have seven paints made up here that I made yesterday that I, I don't think I'm gonna do all seven together, six at most. I'm gonna do a couple test combinations to see how I like them and how she likes them. So the colors I have are um, a 24 karat gold by Deco Art. I have Pewter by Deco Art, which is very blue, metallic-y, almost silver blue. Um, I mixed up a gold with a little, sh or brown with a little shimmer. This is uh, Burnt Umber with Old Gold. Not much of those left in those tubes. And then a whitish, or a blue, uh, this is mostly titanium white with a little bit of cerulean blue by Arteza and silver by Deco Art. Silver, silver. A new paint I got in, let's see, this is Arteza Pearl Golden Hour. It's very um, like a yellowy. I, I was expecting it to be more like gold, but it's not. Um, and this is Champagne Gold by uh, deco art. Nope, not that one. I know where to go. This one. So I'm going to pour my paints in a eight ounce cup. I don't think I need eight ounces for here. And I'm probably do a traveling zigzag. Maybe this, I might do one this way, one this way, one this way. There's so many options. All right. So I mixed these up yesterday and uh, it's important to make sure your consistency of the paints is the same, especially if they've been sitting for a day. I always cover them up so they shouldn't dry out, but they might separate a little. So I give them all a good stir and make sure the I like the medium style consistency. So you can see I'm doing six colors twice. So there should be plenty of paint. Okay. Oh, it dripped. And let's go this way. I don't know. It's been a while. Don't remember how to do this. I think I, yes. And get a ring. So I was trying to make sure the yellow and the, well, the yellowy gold didn't get too close to a bluish, so I didn't get green. Hmm. I didn't put any gloves on. Back with gloves. <laughs> so it had a little chance to um to settle before I tilt it. I maybe I should have done a puddle first. This camera seems dry. Okay, back. This corner, I think it's 
too gray. I don't know. I think that having the 24 karat gold is really nice. It's very, very metallic and stands out on its own. Hmm. I think it might be too thick too. Like I said, you do your best to guess at the consistency you want, but <clears throat> you never know until you pour it. That's why I like to pour extra paint. So you can do more than one painting and adjust the consistency if you need it. Let's see, get my corners with some dripped paint. Okay, that's pretty subtle. I don't know if I like the straight line down the middle. Maybe I'll try to straighten it out. Meh, I think I tilted off most of the paint. Let me set it. I don't see too many bubbles because I let it sit overnight, but good to pop them. And then I'm gonna let that sit here while I do the second one and think about what I have learned. Which paints do I want more of or less of? I feel like there's a lot of blue. So I think maybe um, I think having the pewter and this blue and the silver are too much gray gold types or gray and blue. So I might take out the pewter, mix in the 24 karat gold. I think I'll uh, brown, blue, gold, yellow, silver, yes. So I'm trying to alternate tones. I'm gonna get a new cup because there's still paint in that one. I might just go in the other order this time. It's not that big of a deal. And maybe, I don't know. So it's the week after Christmas, between Christmas and New Year. It's December 28th. It's nice because I don't work. Oh, I forgot to add water. Oh, well, this will be fine. You want to keep your paint thick enough so that it doesn't all run together. And if it does that, you won't have your lines anymore. This is left over for about, that's a big cup. Um, I poured on a glass, like flower vase in Christmas colors, gold, red, and green a couple weeks ago. So that gold's left over from that. Almost out of the yellow. I didn't make much. More blue and a little brown, just a touch, Oop. and gold and silver. Okay, let's do this as a two turn. It's hard to do as my swirls backwards, whatever. Okay big bubble on the top. And away we go.
which direction? <laughs> Try to get that corner before I back off. It's hard to get there sometimes. Oh well. Do 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 do. Let's see, this might have not had enough paint. So. Come on, guys. Get moving. That might be okay. I'm by myself. Put some water in the paints for the next painting. I can just do this. There's a lit. Okay, let me just get that corner. Here it is. And then all the way back. Over here, let's hmm. not enough paint on this one. You can do it. <laughs> let's get over that corner. Okay, I can touch that up. Well, I don't like. <laughs> that. Let's see if I can bring it back to this side. Well, that's why this is a practice. Hmm. I don't think that's going to move very much. I don't want to um, scrape it or wreck it with the drawing lines in it. think I forgot to scrape my edges gotta do that well that was part one or one and two are uh, and I'm going to do a couple more of these to have some options anyways make sure you scrape your drips so the paint doesn't continue to pull off the top of the canvas down the sides and wreck your composition also when you should uh, cover your edges some of the dripped paint just a fun bend it over exercise. Okay. I always. Mm. Doesn't look very good on this side. The hole is kind of weird. Anyways, thank you for watching. Come back for part two when I <laughs> do that. Thanks.